Happy holidays, guys. Mom Brennan Keter is coming again to you. How's everybody doing out there? Hope everybody's well. Getting gearing up for the holidays. Um, welcome to the opinion spot. As I like to, where I always say, your opinion counts. I'm here to give you, as you can see, yeah, I'm wearing my Santa hat. I'm here to give you guys uh, kind of a list of 15 of my favorite Christmas movies slash specials, etc. Um, and there, since there are so many, but I can, I these are some of that I chose to talk about. Uh, Fifteen, so five today, five Saturday, and five Sunday. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so uh, where are we gonna start? Well, let's start with number fifteen, right? Uh, fifteen is a classic. Which I am a big fan. I am a fan of the classics, and I'm talking way classic from the 1930s, actually. And it stars probably one of the comical geniuses, two comical duos of the 20th century Stan Laurel and Oliver Hawley. Babes in Wonderland, in Toyland, excuse me. Uh, March of the Wooden Soldiers, basically. Uh, this short was a really fun short of just seeing how, see the great chemistry between Laurel and Harley, and basically they play characters Stanley D and Laurel Dumb. They play Tweedledee and Tweedledum, play basically, and they work in a sh they live in a shoe with you know, and they work and they also help out Santa. However, Little Bo Peep gets kidnapped by this evil man I'm forgetting the name but this this episode would always come off come on all the time every Christmas and I'd watch it and he takes little Bo Beep to Boogie Land and so we we and in Boogie Land we get to see the Boogie Men and the Boogie Men he controls the Boogie Men and they they come and try to take over Toyland and things like that. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, Stan and Laurel have to basically activate these soldiers, these wooden soldiers, and they come to life and defend the town against these boogeymen. And it was just really fun to watch. Um, I still laugh at it whenever I see it. Um, you know, just seeing Laurel Hawley is just it's, it's just always classic. They're they're just really classic, classy guys, and you know I've always said you know they're some of the geniuses of their time, you know, along with the Three Stooges and people like that, which I'm just a big fan of. You know, gotta respect the classics, right? All right, so we move on to number fourteen. Number 14 is none other than a classic, classic Christmas story. And it was a special. The first one, the one that I've seen, came out in the 1960s, this one. It was produced by Rankin and Bass Productions and Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. Uh, who doesn't like Frosty the Snowman? Um, no matter how old I get, I will always love this this little special um it, it's just a classic special that i love you know i've always had a soft spot for frosty snowman i i like this the song and everything like that and in this story it, it they kind of take a little bit of you know take the this the, the sing along but also the fact of you know there's a little bit of love and comedy as well as you know um adventure and just True friendship, pretty much, does, and the the Christmas joy and spirit of, you know, the holidays. Uh, in this day, they have it that it's a magical hat, top hat, that brings Frosty to life, and every time he comes to life, he always says "Happy Birthday," and it was, that was always fun to me. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I think I missed it this this uh, season, which I'm a little pissed off about, because I pretty much never miss it anytime CBS would air it. 
usually CBS airs it, but I think I missed it. And um, I'm a little pissed off about that, but not too pissed off. It's the holiday season, people. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Frosty the Snowman um, definitely was uh, a fun episode, a fun special that I really enjoyed. Uh, next up is an episode, which is 13, is an episode of Justice League called Comfort and Joy, which was like the Christmas episode, and it starred Superman, Jean, Martian Manhunter, Flash, uh, Green Lantern, and Hawkgirl. And in the episode, it basically is, the whole concept of the episode really is how John and Hawk Girl are not really used to this Earth celebration. They're not really used to that, you know, be being that one's a Martian, the other one's Thanagarian in the show. Uh, we also see that uh, Flash does his daily uh, run to the orphanage, and he they wanted a, a, a I think it was a rabbit, B, BC rabbit or BJ rabbit, and I think it broke, or he had to. He went and got the prototype, or something like that. But he also got help from Ultra Humanite, <laughs> um, which was fine. Um, we have Jean spending spending Christmas with the Kent family, which was really good because he's really trying to learn, you know, the the customs and things like that. And of course, then we have. Uh, uh, John, uh, John and Shaira, he's trying to show him how fun it is to play in the snow and build snowmans and things like that for her. And she's like, no. Like, you want to know what I, I find fun? So they go to a bar and they get into a, a bar fight. That's his idea of fun. At least her idea of fun, excuse me. Because at one point, they would had a snowball fight and it got really fierce after a while. And so they had to stop it. Uh, my favorite part um, was seeing um, John in his full Martian form singing to, I just think he was just singing out loud, but he had the Kent's cat in his hand and he was just uh, stroking it while he was uh, singing a, a Martian song. It was really, that was really touching just to see. And um, that was cool. That episode was really cool. I, uh, and of course, I love the episode, at the end, of course, basically where, Ultra Humanite and Flash dress up as like Christmas uh, characters, which was fun. And of course, you know, Flash takes Ultra Humanite back to prison, but he actually thanks Flash, and Flash thanks him, and he even said, You're welcome. So it was show like, hey, even, you know, it was good. Uh, no Batman in that episode, if you remember it. All right. So, uh, number 12. Uh, one more to go. Uh, number 12, we'll keep it in DC. And um, this was an episode of the all-new Batman animated series when it went from uh, Fox to WB at the time, when it was called WB, uh, especially when they changed the artwork and everything like this. Um, this episode was entitled A Night, um, uh, Holiday Night. I believe that was called, and it was this episode was written by Paul Dini, and it had three subsequent stories in it. The first story was about Harley and Ivy. They they uh, control Bruce Wayne and go on a shopping spree, which was really funny because Harley wanted a Christmas tree, and she's like, "Oh, Red, come on! How come we can't get a Christmas tree?" And you know how Poison Ivy is about, you know cutting down trees and everything, you know, she gets really defensive, and she, she finds Christmas a, barber, bar, a barbaric holiday, I remember that's what she said, so they go on a shopper's fee by controlling Bruce with, uh, I think, a pheromone-like lipstick, so whenever it makes contact with your skin, it, it controls you, and you see Bruce just signing all these checks, you know, while they're going on this shopper's fee, buying all these, you know, fur coats and everything, and clothing, and Bruce is just like, and <laughs> just mad about it, and that was fun. The ending was fun because they Bruce stopped them by smashing a Christmas tree on them, and and Harley and then uh, Ivy's like, 
well, you got your tree. Are you happy now? Yeah, actually I am. You know, that was fun. And then the next episode, the next uh, story was Babs, Barbara, Batgirl. Um, Gail Simone's back on Batgirl, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, DC. Made the right decision. Uh, <laughs> basically, um, she is in a department store. You get guess like supposed to be like Macy's or you know J.C. Penney's or something like that, and you know she's looking for a gift for her father. And uh, Harvey Bullock and Renee Montoya are undercover because there's a, a thief of a shop shopping spree shoplifters going around stealing, you know, th thievery going around. And there as Santa and his elf and Bullock is just he he fits the part because he's really his design in this episode in this sh series was he was like incredibly fat, but he's just really being rude to the kids. He's like. You know, the kid's like, I want this. And some kids are crying. And he's like, oh, you cry, baby. And, you know, Renee's like, you're supposed to be jolly, St. Nick. And he's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> and um, all of a sudden, Babs, Barbara, sees the shoplifters. There's four of them, these, these little kids. And we're like, okay, why are kids are stealing? And next thing you know, when they everybody gets involved in countering all of them, all four of them back up, and they become one. And it finds out that they were portions of Clayface, uh, which was another good story. It was a good story. And how they defeated Clayface was interesting because of the fact that, if I remember correctly, Clayface is immune to electricity. But they shocked him pretty much and knocked him out. Uh, whatever. But it was still good. Then the next episode, Joker takes over the the Gotham City New Year's celebration uh, before it goes off, you know, like what they have at Times Square, pretty much. And so it's up to Batman and Robin to stop them, stop him. And he has a couple of hostages and things like that. And that was fun. Uh, and then the, the final part of it was where Batman, Bruce, and uh, uh, Jim are at a like a, a local diner or a local bar or so where they have coffee and um, toast to each other for an, another successful partnership or so. And, of course, uh, Bruce always beating him to paying the bill. And he even said, next time, one day I'm going to beat him to paying the bill. Uh, but it was fun. It was a good episode. It wasn't as fun as the another favorite episode of Batman, holiday episode, but it, it was good. I My favorite out of them, I think, was the Harley and Ivy one because that was just really funny. Anytime you get Harley and Ivy together is is classic. And um, the last and number 11 for today comes from Marvel, and that's X-Men Evolution. Um, there was an episode, I'm forgetting the title, but the episode was the first appearance of Angel. Yeah, and uh, Angel is in this episode, and... It had Cyclops and Rogue, and they're, they're in Manhattan, and Angel was going around saving people, and he saved this little girl who nearly drowned. However, Magneto doesn't want, you know, kind of, he he, try, he tries to ruin Angel's reputation. Uh, Mark Hildenrath did the voice of Angel, uh, the same guy who did the voice of Terry Bogard in the, the uh, Fatal Fury uh, animated OVAs. Um, and he, I think he did a good job and it was really cool to see, you know, Angel dress up in his classic look and his classic hat is, you know, his wings under a trench coat and things like that. It was, that was a good episode. I love the, they kind of mixed up a little bit of Angel's classic theme from the original X-Men, 90s X-Men and then like a new twist to it, but it was really good. I did enjoy that episode and we got to see where the other kids were doing for the holidays and what some of the other X-Men are doing, but a very good episode, nonetheless, I did enjoy it, and uh, yeah, it was fun, it was a lot of fun, guys, um, I do like that episode a lot, so, there you go, first five down, you tell me what you thought about those, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow with the next five, this is the opinion spot, guys, where your opinion counts, y'all take care.